I wanted to do a uh, tutorial on the Bare Minerals Main Attraction um, gift set. Um, this gift set I had purchased a while back and I finally got around to using it. So I'm going to do a tutorial on how I wear this look. So stay tuned. I just wanted to let you know that this gift set on the back will show you everything that it brings. But I wanted to show you this cute box it comes in and all the stuff inside. Now, obviously, I have already used the stuff, some of the stuff, uh, some of the products inside because I wanted to make sure this was a good product. Um, before I actually did a look with it, I usually like to play around with it for a while before I actually do a video. Um, so I definitely love this look. It was something that you can wear on an everyday basis. So it comes with a little booklet inside on all the different looks you can get and how to achieve those looks. Anywho, I'm not going to throw away this box, which is the reason why I've kept it um, this long. Um, I'm actually going to use it on my desk at work as just kind of like a little box I put on my desk to keep my, you know, post-it pads, um, any kind of like tabbies that I need to bookmark things. So you can really reuse this box for whatever you want. Um, the moment you take everything out, all of these little things that were holding the products come out. You just remove them. And then you can use the box for whatever you want. And I like that it's divided because I could keep uh, different things in it. So that's that. I'll definitely be reusing that and taking it to work. So let's get started on the look. First, um, I have already moisturized. I put my Primetime Face Primer. I'm going to start off with Bare Minerals Original Foundation in Light and I'm going to be applying that with the Real Techniques Powder Brush. Now, the reason I'm using this brush is because I want light coverage. I would not recommend this brush for uh, medium coverage because I feel like you lose a lot of product. Uh, when you try to build, not that you can't do it, you can do it, but I, I, I just feel like it's wasteful because you are losing a lot of product. It really doesn't pack things in um, as a brush that the bristles were a little bit tighter would. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that all over my face. And like I said, I'm just trying to achieve a light coverage look. So I'm just going to go in circular motions. Grab whatever's left in there, my top. Because I always pour it on my top, swirl on top. But I find that since I don't put a lot of product in here, I don't have to do a lot of tapping away of excess anything. Okay. So that's that. I'm then going to follow through with the blush that comes in the set, which is Bare Minerals in, um, Blush in uh, Flare. Okay, so this is a full-size blush. It is 0 0.03 ounces. So I feel like it was such a good deal for, you know, $54. I mean, hello. Uh, so I'm just going to get a little bit of that on here and I like that it has a locking mechanism uh, that way you don't make a mess in your makeup bag so just gonna go and swirl that in and just gonna apply my blush in circular motions on the apples of my cheeks now a little bit goes a long way with this product. I'd be very careful if I was you. This blush is dark. So if you have fair skin like I do, just a couple of little 
like droplets on your brush because this could go real bad real quick. All right, so if you've watched my other videos, you would know that I always apply a little bit more blush than I'm supposed to because I have found that when I follow up with my mineral veil, you can't see my blush. So, I follow up with my Bare Minerals Ready um, Mineral Veil in Translucent. This is my favorite color. I don't, I'm not too fond of the tinted shades. I feel like it doesn't complement my skin tone at all. So I just rather go with something that I'm safe with and I'm using the Buff and Go Bare Minerals uh, brush. I believe that this brush provides the best um, blending um, it's like the, for the mineral veil. I've used other brushes for the mineral veil, but I keep I always uh, go back to this one because I think that it picks up the most product and you don't have to put that much and it blends the fastest. So since I do wear makeup every day for work, this is my go-to brush because I don't have too much time in the morning. So I need to go with what's more, more efficient. I'm going to adjust my camera really quick. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and blend that in. And then I'm just going to go in and do my forehead and my T-zone. Okay, there you go. So if I would have applied uh, less blush than I did, I literally, you wouldn't have seen anything. It just would have been white. I'm gonna follow through with, um, I like to prime my eyelids first. Uh, right now I'm using the 5-in-1 Bare Minerals um, BB cream thing. Um, it's in ginger. Now this is not my base color, but it is a darker shade, but I find that it blends in so nicely and you only really need to put like a dot or two. And I just blend that out with my fingers. I like this because it literally feels like silk on my on my eyelids. This is I like this uh, five in one primer better than their original one that they had come out with for the eyelid. This is literally silk, and I feel like it was a nice color that complements the uh, champagne base color that I'm about to put on my lids. So then I'm going to pick up, um, obviously I have used this, uh, the Bare Minerals, the Curtain Call is what it's called. And we have, let's see if we can see that. And we have Matinee and Opening Night. Isn't that cute how they like make the names match? Adorable. I'm going to use my It Brushes. Uh, this came in a set. I got this at Ulta. Um, I will be doing a review on the brushes that are in here. So I'm going to use the All Over Shadow Brush to apply um, Matinee. This is Matinee right here. So, obviously use this a lot. As you can see, there's a giant hole. Now, this color is very light. Very clear. You just get, you know, a nice shimmer. And I apply that all over my lid. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye. I do want to get as much coverage as possible. 
And I always tend to put a little bit more on my lid than I do on any other part of my eye. Okay, all the way up to the brow bone. Then I'm gonna use the other side of this brush, which is the crease brush. So we're gonna dab that in um, the curtain call. Now, literally just dab it. This color is dark. It is a matte finish, which I feel complements very well uh, the shimmer. I feel like if you had two shimmer color, shimmery colors, that wouldn't work out very well. So just going to go ahead and apply that on my crease very lightly. Now, I usually um, like to buy uh, gift um, palettes, like gift sets that I can wear on a day-to-day -day, um, because I'm always on the go and I need something that is not too shocking that I can wear to work every day and I'm not breaking the bank, which I think is a big thing for... Um, women nowadays because you see all these YouTube channels and all these girls that are putting on makeup um, but this stuff costs money so the best way to not break the bank and get a nice look is try to buy things in gift sets um, if it, there's a gift set where you like the eyeshadow and it works for you and it works for your skin tone then just do it and this I, I, I wear makeup every day, and, and this palette has lasted me a good two and a half months. So, I mean, for $35, come on. Uh, it stays on all day. That's what I like about it. But as you can see, I did not put a lot. I want to see if you can see my eyes. And <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and sweep a little bit more of the matinee color on the brow bone. You know, just to accentuate and highlight, <clears throat> I'm going to follow through with the Lasting Line uh, Eyeliner from Bare Minerals um, in Absolute Black. So, I'm not going to line my entire lid. I'm only going to do halfway because, like I said, this is a daytime look, so I'm... Oh, if I, I, if I tend to line my entire eyelid, it just, it's too much. People are confused. They don't know if I'm going to party later or this is what I look like on a daily. That's, you know, and it's a lot of work. So I feel like also too, it opens up my eyes a little more. So I literally only do it halfway. I do and I don't even do a winged anything because, let's face it, a wing eyeliner takes a lot of time and precision. I don't care how down packed you have it. If you mess up in the morning, you're going to be late for work. So I can't, I can't do that. So I just go ahead and I do it halfway. Just make sure I got that right. And then... I follow through with the, obviously, everyone's favorite, Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara that also comes in the gift set. And then I just apply a little bit. Now, you got to be careful with this mascara. Cause, because this mascara, you can literally build and build, and you will get the nicest voluptuous eyelashes ever and what I like about it is that it doesn't tear out your eyelashes when you build like that uh, it actually just comes off pretty easily with your face wash and soap so I just like I said I'm only just putting a little bit However, if you do have smaller eyes, I don't recommend this one because the wand on this is big. And you can, 
end up getting mascara all over your eyelids, which then defeats the purpose of putting on eyeshadow to begin with. Um, Bare Minerals does have a version of this now that has a smaller one, um, and you can get that at Ulta Sephora, the Bare Minerals website, QVC, I mean, you've got so many options. So I go ahead and I just apply my mascara. I put a little bit on the bottom. Not too much. I, I like to create almost like a shadow, so I let the the brush touch the bottom of my lashes there. Because <clears throat> even though I'm not applying mascara, I mean eyeliner on there, um, it sort of creates an illusion like I did line my eyes, but I didn't. But I didn't. That's it for mascara. Then I'm going to follow through with the Bare Minerals Moxie lipstick that's in there. Uh, by It's called Make Your Move. I've obviously used it. And then you follow through with your Moxie Marvelous lip gloss that's in there that's called The Leading Lady. And it gives it such a nice look. And that completes the look for this uh, Main Attraction Bare Minerals review. I hope that you enjoy and stay tuned because I will be doing a video on my look for the Bare Minerals Pop of Passion. Thank you and thanks for watching.